Exercising on a daily basis is essential to maintaining good health. Yet, four in five adolescents are not active enough, according to the International Sports and Culture Association. In particular, there exists a gender gap in physical activeness. Uh, right now, we see a situation where there's, for many years, uh, from east to west, uh, we see a gender gap. So, like, more men are taking up sports than women. Take Denmark as an example. Almost 80% of men consider themselves to be part of the sports culture when they are 16 to 19, compared to 55% of women in the same age group. But why is that? Maya believes that the gap appears when children are influenced by social expectations at schools. It starts from uh, very early on in, in school sports and in uh, sports clubs. There a different focus, a different cultural development of uh, and a different idea of what is uh, women, what is female uh, supposed to be, what is male supposed to be and do. The lack of physical activity can be harmful to health. Marvin Radford, who studies the causes of not exercising enough, describes that physical inactivity would cause more deaths than smoking. It will also lead to an increased expenditure on the health care sector. The total cost of physical inactivity in Europe, that's approximately 80, 80.4 billion euro each year. Uh, the costs are related to the deaths uh, and illness that come from non-communicable diseases that have very close connection to physical activity rates. So heart disease, for example, coronary, coronary disease. So, what should be done to solve the gender gap? Researchers believe that long-term solutions should be taken to encourage young girls to be more active in sports. One uh, solution that I was focusing on on my pre presentation today was uh, to have a more diverse, uh, more variety in the offers uh, offered from sports clubs so that they have offers the traditional way focusing on talent, development, competition. But the sports clubs should also have offers for the ones who just want to participate and have fun and be together with friends in a social way. I would suggest that we start by encouraging sport and physical activity associations to work with other organizations in other sectors. Active transport, for example, education. When we combine our core competences, then we have a better chance of actually seeing an impact on the needle when we're measuring the physical activity rates in different countries.